So I decided to do the breed out the weird or breed out the ugly challenge, whatever people are calling it. Um, so yeah, I'll just get straight into it. I started off with just creating my sim and making them have the most extreme and weird features possible. So it would take the longest to, I don't want to say correct them, but yeah, correct them, make them normal, <laughs> I guess. Um, I feel slightly awkward in making this video because I feel like I'm calling people ugly, but like this sim that I make is undeniably ugly. So I don't really know who I'm offending because I doubt anyone looks like this. Um, after I made my sim, I decided to give them normal hair and makeup and clothes um, just to make it like just kind of funny. I don't even know, just like they look so strange, but I just wanted them to fit in and look kind of normal. I don't really even know. Um, and so I went for uh, grey hair and skin as well because I wasn't sure how well that would go through the generations. I wasn't sure if that would pass on or not, but I just thought I'd go for that. I am losing my voice a little bit. I'm really sorry. Um, this bit is just me playing with some makeup and stuff and outfits. Nothing too interesting. first bit of this video of this series is going to be build, it's going to be me building the house that I'm going to play this series in. So if you're not interested in build and you're just interested in play, I will try and put a timestamp up on the screen for you to skip to. So there will be some play in this video but it is going to be mostly the original build where I'm going to base the, the series. Um, I had a bit of trouble because the roof kept disappearing. I really hate how floor tiles work in Sims 4. It stresses me so much. Um, and they just kept disappearing. I'm pretty sure I ended up scrapping this house and just going with an entirely different one. Yeah. Then I just went in with the same kind of general idea all over this house. So I wanted it to be just like a regular sort of terrace house, obviously there's not houses either side of it so it's not technically a terrace house, but you know just like a really really normal kind of standard looking house, um, but then I wanted to have it really kind of jazzed up on the inside um, and just really interesting decor. Um, there is a blog I've been looking at recently, not loads, but um, Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's called like the Pink House London or something. Um, if I can remember, I will try and link that below because I drew some huge inspiration from that blog and that house. Um, especially with like the colour scheme and all of this sort of craziness. I absolutely love this banana leaf wallpaper, wallpaper and I'm so glad it's in the game. You can so hear my voice is just going. Um... I really liked adding that gold tap as well. I love the like gold accents in places like this. I don't know if there are places like this. I don't know quite what I mean. Um, and I guess I just didn't really carry on with the main room. I just went onto the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I realized that the bathroom didn't need to be quite as big and I could take a lot of space back into the kitchen and that extra piece of counter space actually really helped. Also in this build I was sticking with my original budget so that was something I had to take into account when I was placing furniture and bits and bobs that I couldn't actually go out of my budget. That's something I'm not going to be doing in this game. I'm not going to be using mother load or money cheats um, to get things I guess <laughs> to make the game easier or to decorate my house. I really struggled to find a nice coloured bed for the toddler room. Everything is so 
ugly and then none of the wallpapers matched. It was just really difficult to find anything that matched up nicely. Um, so, yeah, it just all wouldn't match up properly. Pretty soon you'll see me changing the entire colour scheme when I change the bed and it ends up being a lot cuter and more stylized looking rather than just, oh these are all the same colour and just throwing them all in together. So there you see it looks a lot nicer like that. I think that bed just makes it look a lot softer as well. And then with the um, parents bedroom I guess, the adults bedroom, I wanted it to be sort of less patterns and overwhelming colours and just somewhere that's like a really relaxing space. Obviously I know that, that the colours won't actually affect the sim, but you know, just in theory, if this were real. <laughs> and then I actually went on to the living area, so I tried out some different stuff with the dining table and then I was trying to plan out and map out where everything would go and where it would fit in within the shape I'd created, or well, built within. Um, I decided or realised I just could not afford a TV for my sims, but that's not been too much of an issue really. Um, one day hopefully my sims will be able to afford a TV and I plan on doing the whole series from this house so there probably won't be any upgrades or anything. So my sim is out on the town and ready to meet someone so they, she can breed, that is a ugly word, but yeah, my sim is chatting up the bartender, um, ready to try for baby. <laughs> yes, I'm aware I sound 12 right now. It just seems kind of creepy and like, I don't know, what's it called, like, modified genetics or genetic something like to be like oh they're going to breed and make a better looking child it just ooh. basically it took ages and ages for her to get anywhere with that bartender and then he just was like bye so she goes home and then he's at her door so they woohoo she finds out she's pregnant she lets him know that he's like, yay, and then he's like, okay, bye, and goes home. So I decided she needed to make some money, but I didn't want to get her a job. So she is a scavenger. She goes around hunting for frogs and picking berries and fishing and planting stuff. I really like the little treasure chest things that they find sometimes. I love opening them. They're so cute. I got little Dr. F statue thingy. I thought that was really cute. At first I was just sort of going about trying to find some strawberries because I wanted my sim to have a female baby. Um, but then I was like, yeah, this can be just her career. This can just be how she makes her money. So at first I did sort of collect the bits and bobs and then eventually I just decided to sell them. Also, I'm not good at taking care of Sims needs in Sims 4. Sims 3, it just feels a lot easier and more fluent. Sims 4, they seem to stand around for about 90% of the game, preparing to do the task. And it just takes like an hour for them to wash their hands, and it's too much. And I do use a couple times um, the film needs cheat, but then I realised that was probably cheating in the challenge, and so... I stopped using that, I only used it a couple times, but yeah, then I stopped. Once she has the baby, I did stop using the film needs cheat. Then I decided things were getting a bit crazy, so I wanted to put everything in some planters, make it all a bit simpler. I feel like this is so off topic for what the video is meant to be, but like, what is she meant to do the whole three trimesters of pregnancy? She can't just sleep and super fast forward for everything, she has to have something to do and make money. 
So I haven't really done any gameplay in Sims 4 for a long time, I usually just build and then quit. So I'm not super used to actually playing it. I'm really, really more into Sims 3. So I'm totally like unaware of how gardening even works in, in Sims 4. I kind of get the gist of it towards the end, but it's just... It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, so my sim has gone off to give birth. And there we go, she has her baby and she's off home. So I aged up the baby straight away because obviously I want the baby to just age up and age up so they can have a baby. So the challenge keeps moving, otherwise it's just going to be some general gameplay, it won't end up being challenge related. So I tried to age up the sim without cheats as much as I could, as in not using any cheats at all. Um, and I had been trying to figure out how to do this for a while, I was just being super dumb, I was trying to make them bake a cake, because that's the easiest way I know of to age up without a cheat and I was looking in bake but it's in cook which is really annoying and feels like the wrong place for that to be so you may notice I kind of start to forget to take care of the toddler I sort of was like barely taking care of my sim as it was and then she had a toddler and I didn't really know what to do because that's a whole other person she has to take care of now as well as herself and making money. It was just a lot to deal with. I'm not sure when it happens but I soon realise that strawberries are an absolute money maker in Sims 4. If you harvest strawberries you can sell them for so much money. So I started doing quite a lot of that and my sims were raking in quite a bit of money I don't think that's happened yet but I don't know when it happens so I'm telling you now also I love that up until right now she was still in her hospital gown for days after she had the baby the baby's a toddler now and she was still in her hospital gown and she changed back into it she changed out of it and back into it she's just I don't understand so pretty soon hopefully she gets on with it and bakes the cake and does the age up because I can't remember when that comes. Oh yeah, so I scheduled a babysitter and a gardener because I wanted my sim to just be able to sort stuff out without having to look after the annoying toddler. It was I think a one-time babysitter or a one-time gardener, I'm not sure which way around. But that just took care of the baby's needs and then I thought the gardener could come and water my plants while I was asleep. But they ended up not needing it so I just cancelled them. My sim doesn't seem to understand how to do her dishes. In Sims 3, like, once they'd eaten they'd almost always clean up. But in Sims 4 they just leave everything everywhere. It's really annoying because you have to do it all so manually. Also, just then you'll see I decided to sell my little figures, my little Dr. F kind of sad but she's a seller not a collector oh yeah um i tried to get her and her baby daddy to sort of rekindle a relationship and it did not go well and quite soon you'll see the grand finale of that relationship And there we go, she's about to. And she proposes and he says no and she cries and chases him away, says goodbye and leaves. I don't really know why I went off on the tangent of trying to get them to rekindle a relationship. Because it doesn't really help the story move forward and the challenge move forward, but I don't know. And then he just like appears at her door and they move in, I guess. I forgot that happened. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, big happy family. No one looks 
odd or different at all. <laughs> so now that the baby has aged up quite a bit um, to a child, we're able to see how weird they look and my goodness, they have no nose, but then like also a giant nose. I can't even. I hope I got a close up sometime. Okay, no, now they're a teen. Oh yeah, I aged them up too many times at one point and made them into an adult, not a young adult. Uh, but that will still be fine. They'll still be able to have a baby and everything. And then, cause um, that guy, the baby daddy, moved in, we ended up with quite a bit of money for my Sims. So I kept trying to move them out and I didn't quite understand what I was doing. I don't understand anything to do with Sims 4. I'm such a just nerd for Sims 3. I can't try anything new. Um, but I managed to figure it out and got them to move out. So now she's ready to have her baby. So she's just kept keeping up with the work on the garden. Making that money. So I sent my sim out to the bar to try and meet a nice man and have a slightly less ugly baby with but all the men had really strange prominent facial features and I need someone with the most basic facial features so that it can reduce how weird they look. Um, I added hair and makeup but I didn't change the hair colour, I didn't change any facial features or body shape or anything, I just dressed my sim up a little bit, nothing that can affect the genetics. Because that's the thing here is, you know, you're breeding it out of the sim, so it's the genetics that are the component, the key component, I don't know, I sound too fancy with those words. Um, so then I looked at a few different houses around the neighbourhood and decided to go for this one and steal their mail. Genuinely took me a while to actually find him, he's like hidden away. And then she tries to chat to him for a while. In Sims 3, I feel like you could just like chat to someone twice and then you're married. In Sims 4, it's like an actual relationship has to form. But I tried to get her to leave and she ran upstairs for a while and then she left. So I kind of thought the video was coming to an end really. Um, but I'm pretty sure I end up inviting over the guy she talked to, I think. Or he just appears. Something happens. There we go. I don't know if she invites him or if he just appears, I can't remember. But just trying to like increase their relationship so they can have a baby. So that is pretty much the extent of the video. Thank you for watching part one. I know it wasn't super exciting, but hopefully part two will have a lot more action going on. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!